I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 2nd of August, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We start off with the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 24. Paul says, But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. We've got to keep the main thing, the main thing. We've got to focus on what God has called us to. And that is to tell people about Jesus. It's very simple. We've got to do it in our workplace. We've got to do it on the sports field. We've got to do it in the classroom. It's all about preaching the good news, the gospel of Christ. And you and I need to finish the race. We need to complete the task, and we mustn't waste time. Now, maybe you say to me, but I've never had the privilege of being able to preach from a pulpit or a platform. But that doesn't matter. These men that we are reading about, Paul and Peter and James and John, these were men that preached in the workplace. They weren't even allowed in the synagogues. You know, the other day, a group of people arrived on the farm, and they came to buy a horse from my son. And I greeted them, and we started talking about horses. Of course, I've got a horse. You know that. (laughs) His name is Snowy. That's right. The kids love him. They're always asking me, how's Snowy doing? So we started up a conversation. I told them I'd been riding horses since I was 19 years old. And they told me about their horses. And then slowly but surely, the conversation swung around to all the mighty men meetings we've had on this farm, to people's lives who have been changed through the preaching of the gospel in the open air. Today, don't underestimate where God has called you. If you're a school teacher, You've got an instant congregation in front of you day after day. What a privilege. If you're working in a factory, you've got a whole group of men and women that you can tell about Jesus. I'm not talking about Bible punching. I'm talking about telling them how Jesus has impacted your life. Maybe you're a homemaker, a housewife. Oh, man, I tell you what, those are the people I salute the most. You know, Jesus had a mother. Her name was Mary. She was dedicated to looking after him and him alone. But look what happened from her obedience, the Son of God. I want to tell you today, go out there, keep the main thing the main thing, focus on the work God's called you to, and most of all, enjoy it. Jesus bless you, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.